Hi, good morning. I would like to tell you about the art of transmutation. Transmute basically is to take something in one form or in one general idea and turn it, in, turn it into something else. For example, I played soccer professionally for some years. As you, if you have seen any of my videos or you know who I am, then you would know this. I have to mention it because the example I'm given has to do with broken bones of titanium in my forehead, surgery right knee, surgery left ankle, two surgeries on the left ankle. So I've had situations where, you know, been down physically, you know, and also mentally. I'm telling you, one, if you have a broken leg and you can't really drive well and you have to stay home and you can't frolic and party, um, it affects your mind a little. Now, transmutation, how does it work? Well, if there is an event that occurs, that causes you to go into a habit, habitual reaction, which is to become anxious, nervous, depressed, angry, etc. Find the courage within yourself to keep a positive mental attitude in any of those situations. Now, there are some fears that people, that are very significant within our society as a human race. Fear of being arrested, the fear of police officers. Now, that's more prevalent among minority individuals because of the system that has been designed. Uh, Jim Crow type of system still as much as um, people think that it's, we've moved beyond, we have a black president and so forth. Um, however, we can still see that we are aware, as even as a government, that the situation is not fear. For example, there is funding for minority businesses. Why would there be such a government program if things were genuinely fair? Things are not genuinely fair. It is important to gain knowledge, not to become biased or partial or to, um, or to dominate people or to judge people, but be aware, be vigilant. Be vigilant the type of information that you are volunteering, okay? About transmutation, it is not easy to get anything great done, but it is easy now. <laughs> Let me explain what I mean. To become an expert, it could take you three to five years. That is daunting to me personally. Anything that is three years long, I can't do shit for three years, but I could do it for an hour now. I could do it for five minutes now. I could do it for 15 minutes now. And you sleep and you get up. And guess what? Behold, it's now again. And you could do it for an hour now. Do it now. For an hour. For 15 minutes. Do it now. Now, once you start with this attitude of doing it now, it is very difficult for anything to stop you. So, when you are faced with a difficult situation, any situation, remember, you could get out of any situation because you have the capability. Everybody who was, who's involved in the system has a brain just like you. They have a mind just like you. They have feelings just like you. Start becoming more clever and loving in the way that you deal with people. Try to appeal to people's emotion more than their reason. Because some people are not reasonable and will not relate to logic. However, most people are emotional, and as a result, if you are clever and skillful enough and you practice the art and you know who you're talking to, you ask the right question, then you are able to use tones, words, and your body language to influence the mind of the people that you're dealing with. So remember, you can become empowered. Stop pressing this boy. You can become empowered to take any situation, whether it be very drastic, uh, whether you're on trial for some a case or you have some injury or you lost a loved one or, you know, you can take any situation and transmute it into something extremely positive, extremely lucrative, and most importantly, something that would endure forever. Learn your lessons. Learn them today. Be vigilant. Be careful. Not avoiding risk, but watch your thoughts. Watch your words and watch your actions. Remember, eyes on the prize. Stop putting shit off.